is everyone on a what? Heading back to Overlord in Eastern Europe. We are ready for the second to last campaign mission, the Danube campaign in April 1828 as the Caucasus army checked Ottoman troops. The Danube group army of Russia supported by the navy crossed the river and invaded into Ottoman Empire. The situation in the Balkan Peninsula became critical. I wonder if the Russians sat around and waited until the Ottomans had something else to do again. Okay, they're, they're busy. Let's attack them. Comrade, the Ottoman rule in Balkans has been precarious. Our attack will be their last straw. And Turkish Pro, blindly defending will only trap us in a passive situation. The enemy has shown up here. We cannot sit still. Fine with me. Come at me, bro. I can handle it. We are still using just the common generals we have been given. Still only using my bot generals for the conquests. Now I was not going to upgrade any of the generals that I got for free. But I actually started doing it. Because, um... Having used them so much... They've, they've kind of became a part of me. I hate to uh, just like sell them for metals or something. In fact, can you sell them for metals? I'm sure you can, even though you're giving them. I haven't even tried to sell one. Even Clinton. Clinton. I'm keeping. I thought for sure. Oh, he's a green general. I will definitely be getting rid of him. But no, we've, we've just formed a bond. I mean, we've been through so much. You know, we were in the US, we were in Canada, we were in France. Now we're in Russia, Turkey, we'll be heading off to the Holy Roman Empire. Bros don't let bros sell other bros for metals. It just doesn't happen that way. Speaking of only using my generals in conquests, if you didn't catch my uh, comment in the community tab, or you didn't see the stream today. I beat 1806 with one star Sardinia and got an S. Which I had tried I had tried it last night and got uh, well first I got a C. No I got a C with Russia when I tried the whole be a country and only defend and give all the other countries your resources. I've been doing that for a while. It's fun. It'll get old, I'm sure, but you know, for, for the meantime, it's been fun. Um, so yeah, I played and I got a B last night with Sardinia because I just didn't realize I mean, I witnessed it before, like your allies just don't go at the Ottomans very hard. So I waited till about, you know, halfway through when all my allies started going into Spain. And then I built up a force, I stopped giving them money, and I started heading out towards the Ottoman Empire. And I ended up with an S. So there's only so long that you can set back and just give resources. Um, this is going to be a long mission, isn't it? We're already at five minutes. I, I've barely moved.
There you go. Oh, I did, I finally upgraded Clinton's rank so he could actually hold something. Because he was such a crap general he couldn't even carry an item. So after I beat Sardinia today, I gave him a nice side, I don't know what I gave, a sword I think. Something that increased his battle ability by 10. This is starting to worry me a little bit, guys. Like, um, am I going to be able to get the three star? The progression is so slow right now. And they are spamming out. Ottoman spam. I think I'm readjusting the plan I had. I was going to push through the north, right? And then just swing around once I got all the way to the west. Then take out that last strategic point. But now, I think I'm just going to leave that city in the northwest. And just go through the middle to grab that strategic point over there on the west end. Because I'm running out of time, I don't got time to go up there and take that city and still try to get a three star. And we're almost halfway through. All right, at least that guy's out. I disagree with that. That should have killed him, but what do I know? Alright, that looks a lot better. As long as he don't throw out more spam, we should be able to get it done. Alright, it didn't look... I didn't... Yeah, they didn't throw down any other troops. I think we're good. That damn naval ship is pissing me off there. Nice. It's going to be close. I can tell that. 
It's probably going to be the 18th round. And since we're halfway through and it's 10 minutes, it's probably going to be a 20 minute long campaign mission. What I wouldn't do to bust out Napoleon right now, throw him on a rocket artillery. I mean, I like Bismarck. He's, he's a cool infantry general, but he's not a game changer. Like Napoleon is. Napoleon can completely change the outcome, single-handedly, I think. Especially if you have a healing item on him like I do. With 30 HP per round and he never dies. Which I think you must only be able to have one of those because since I bought that out of the store I have not seen it again. Alright, we have basically got the defenses down. Damn, 71. Not bad. Oh, I got a, uh, I nearly forgot about that rocket artillery up there. Damn, 146? That's one of the best hits I've ever seen. Damn, we're getting close. I think we got it there. Take it out, bro. Nice. I'm, I'm getting all the breaks this time around. Usually what would have happened is I would have attacked that city and it would have like one health left. I'd have to wait till the next turn and by that point they would have placed another troop down. Completely wasting the round for me. I don't know, we might get this done a little early. Maybe, bros. Depending how strong this city is. Doesn't appear too bad. See, right now, as you can tell, I got the healing thing on Jordan, and he's not going down. I mean, 30 HP around is pretty OP. 
I'm okay with it though because um, under normal circumstances 30 HP around is OP but there are times where you just you, you may not be paying attention you get surrounded you take like 200 damage and you're almost dead by the time you come back around. It has happened. And I, yes, I have still been killed. Even with that item on. It does not make you invincible. It's nice because you can pull up beside, you know, two enemy units like I've done here and not worry about dying. It allows you to play a little bit different than you normally would. It's highly worth it if you guys don't have it yet. Is it, is it just ambulance? Is that what it's called? I think so. It's been so long ago that I bought it, I don't actually remember. What it uh, was actually called. I think I remember the picture. The picture was of a, like a horse drawn um, carriage with a medical tarp over it. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Alright, come on, get this in 17. Finish one round early. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. Nope. <sighs> My bros failed me. And here I didn't sell you generals. I kept you along for the ride. To be a part of the crew. To complete all the campaigns. Show all the Brominatis it can be done without purchase generals. And then you let me down. And then you damn let me down. Perhaps when we come back for the next campaign mission, I won't have these generals. Maybe, maybe they're working for the Ottomans. Maybe that's what's going on. They just can't be that incompetent without trying. We did it. A boom! Three star! Fitty medals! We are now ready for the last mission, bros. Noise. With that. Don't forget to turn on the notifications, slap the shit out of like and subscribe, and I will see you here for next upload. Peace! Bruminati out. <laughs>